Hello everybody, welcome to Super League Week 1. We've got Group B action, Olivier Dulac with his uh, fantastic number one Skaven. Up against Monitor with his Wood Elves that are quite unlike Dwarves actually. Um, millions of dodge. Some would say infinite, some would say nine. Um, you know, who, who knows who's correct. And in the booth with me is Dimmy G, hello. Hello Jimmy, hello everybody. Uh, I was actually really looking forward to this game. So we've got Monitor, uh, who has been dominating ladder for the last season or two, I think, mm. hasn't he? And uh, I've, not seen, I've not actually seen him play myself. And then you've got Olivier, who is uh, somewhat of a household name, right? So Yeah, certainly in tabletop, isn't he? He's number one in the number world one. for tabletop. And uh, is like quite significantly ahead of number two as well. So he will probably, Numero uno. Yeah, he'll probably retain that crown for a while. He's uh, he, uh Olivier. Obviously, he didn't do the best last season, did he? In, uh, no, he didn't. He did. He yeah. didn't do very well at all. But you know, like that's the thing, isn't it? It's like he has changed up his team somewhat as well. He's, instead of a sidestep gutter runner, he's got a block gutter runner this time. Mm. I think everything else is identical. I believe. Mm. I mean that's the thing. Like it's it's quite especially with Skaven, right? Skaven are a pretty Skaven are a pretty dicey team anyway, and so yes, it's like two plus two plus two plus. Yeah, like you know, it's three 0 win versus Andy. It's not like he played amazing versus Andy and not as amazing versus other people. It's just versus Andy. He got like you know, he rolled all the dice and that was it. And <coughs> he rolled all the dice. One mm. of those guys. Yeah. Well, no, I mean that's Skaven, isn't it? Skaven are like put you in those situations where. You've kind of got to play perfectly, and then if they roll a dice, they, they beat you 3-0. If they don't, then they don't. And of course, you know, if you don't play perfectly, you'll lose 3-0 if you, you know, like... If Andy was rubbish, you'd have lost 3-0, but it didn't really matter that he was good, because the dice were good. But also, it wouldn't have mattered if he was bad, if the dice had been bad for Olivia, and so... This is spicy. Yeah, I'm not... He's just he's just leaving his war dancers on the LOS. Yeah. And there's, there's a rat ogre right there. Yeah. I mean, um, it's a uh, bold strategy, Cotton. Yeah, not blitzing either. No blitz. Mm. Two very hittable war dancers. Mm. Uh, interesting turn. Mm. Very interesting. Oh, I'm not going for a rogue of 3D on, on Dancer. I think you just going for a rogue of 3D on a, on a lineman. No. Nope. He's, he's going not. for the stripper, isn't he? No, no. Oh he's my got god. Two assists. He's, he's got to be going for the uh, for the line on. Gets the pal. Oh my god. What happened there, Jim? I don't know, Jeff. I'm bamboozled. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Why did he hit the lino? Yeah, I mean, what, once he put once he put this this uh, lineman in, he wasn't blitz like he wasn't blitzing the tackle, was yeah. he? Like, yeah, yeah. When, when he put the guard in, I thought he was going to blitz the tackle. Yeah, he could just three D him into the middle, right? Mm -hmm. The tackler. Yeah, yeah. Mm. that was uh, interesting. Mm. And that's the thing is, it's a high level, it's a high level tournament. So you know, like it's it's not surprising for anybody. Like you know, I think Art finished bottom in the group. And uh, the other group in Arian finished bottom. It's like, you know, they're obviously two top, top players, but that's what's going to happen, isn't it? When everybody's good, um, some I mean, people I, aren't going to do so well. <coughs> I guess it was like three into three that way, but I mean, he still needed a full pow. Like, it's. Uh... Yeah, I would have definitely gone for the gutter if I had. Yeah, so I mean, it's. Yeah. I mean, he's more protected now, right? I guess if he'd gone for the dancer, he'd have been out in the open and could have got two deed. Um. Yes, yeah. that is true. That is true. Oh, the Dublé ones. Was of course the three uh, plus the tail, but uh, he did roll double ones. I would just try and smash the stripper with the my blow. I think. <laughs> I mean, of course, we know you try and smash the stripper, didn't we? <laughs> well, hey. <laughs> <laughs> he's just sitting alone, eh? Oh, is, is he using the Rauger again? I think he is. And he's going to knock over his own player again. KO, That's two well for done. two. Yep. Brilliant player, this Rauger. I mean, this is, yeah, this is a great strategy from Monitor, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just to uh, invite him to use the Rauger. He's gone for the Lino, not the Dancer again, yeah. Go and get him over. But now he's knocked him into the mighty blow hit. Ah, uh, okay. 
This is more. Yeah, it gets the power on that one as well. Yeah, let me um. Watch it in your Discord, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll do. Sorry, I forget. I, uh, there we go, I'm live. That's lovely, Jim. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Mm. This is interesting, isn't it? Look, these two here. Yeah, it's. But, uh, I mean, <clears throat> I know it's res and that, but. Like they've still got another 14 turns yet. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'd, I'd, be dodging my, I'd be dodging my tackle around and blitzing with him, that's for sure. Yeah. I think he clearly is. He's going to free dice the wrestle, is he? Yeah, he's going oh, to three with the stripper. Yeah, yeah, he's going to three dice him and just block with the, uh, with the other dancer. Yeah, that's yeah, uh, pretty good. That just maximizes blocks, doesn't it? Bosh. Bosh removal. KO. Apo? No. No Apo? What? No, he did Apo. He did, too. It was a KO. He rolled a 9. Yeah, didn't he? yeah he did Apo it. I, I just looked at this one on the bench and thought he hadn't apo <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm completely bamboozled at this moment, Jim. I'm going to need a turn or two to regather my senses. I'm, <laughs> I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> And he's got a 3D on the uh, Tackle Dancer again, with the Roger if he wants it. Yep. He'll probably decline it to hit the Lion-O that's next to him. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's, it's a little bit tricky to, uh, to cancel this assist now, isn't it, to be fair? To be fair... Yeah, I mean, but the first one will be three. It'll be three into two, right? Yeah. Which, I mean, five dice he's to got roll jug. the pile. He's got jugs as well, so... You know. Oh, hey! We're here, you big jugs. Gonna have to uh, do some moderation, Jim. Sorry, mate. Thank you. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, he's not going for it. No, he might be. <clears throat> yeah, he might be. Because this is a GFI for the uh, Storm Vermin to blitz this guy. Which would it's, you know, it's, it's, can, can the Rogue make it three out of three ones on the Blitz? It'd be pretty amazing. I'd be pretty <laughs> happy if it is. No, he rolled a two now, and he was, he was only going to knock over the, sto the Storm Vermin as well. So that was he did a GFI. He did a GFI with a Rogue at a Blitz. Flip me. Oh, one in nine. Oh, he's got block. Block, yeah. Block. Block. Nah. It's going to say this one can just uh, leap out, but obviously he can't because it'd be like a 6 plus because he's in four tackles. In four tackle zones, yeah. I mean, he can just chain him out. Like, I'm just smashing the gutter runner with the tackle and chaining the dancer out, and yeah. he's got a cheeky little. He's literally. It's the first really, thing he's done he? before anything, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not difficult. One that one. Yeah, and then this gets his catcher off the air tail as well. I wonder if he stands that player up to make it three dice on the guy. It'd only be two. Oh, it's a catcher. Oh, yeah, sorry. I forget. The green gloves means they're catchers. Mm, and the kind of yeah. like. Uh, Somebody whatever. hasn't. Somebody hasn't turned the different colour circles on, you know? I don't know who would have... It looks ugly, doesn't it? Like, you know... It do, do you think? Yeah. I think. Like, being able to tell who's who is ugly. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it is. Look at this. And then, like, because you have these white circles when it's your opponent's... To, like, when it's the other person's turn and stuff, and it's just like... Yeah. This is, it's, it's really garish and too much. Like, I don't mind putting it on, like, you know, to just see where things are. Like, if I'm playing, I'll put it on and be like, all right, this, this is where the throw is and stuff. Or you know, these this is where the catches are. But like, if you leave it on here, like it's just it's crazy, isn't it? It's looking very good for the Woody so far. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, they're they're not getting anywhere, are they? They don't have any penetration. They're like four squares back in their own half. But um, they've got a removal I mean, if, and an apple use. Yeah, like if he dacked, <laughs> it'd still be in the same spot. Like he's not <laughs> using any rerolls, and uh, there's a rat down. <laughs> like, yeah. And the Apo. <laughs> it's like... Yeah. 
I mean, it's good. It's, it's not. It's not great for them, right? Like, it's not. It's not going amazing it's, for it's them. But, pretty, um, I mean, he's he gets to hit a couple of gutter runners here. He can hit like the the uh, right ogre if he wants. But this is what it's like, right? This is what it's like. This is the. This is like the chunter slash Inarian strat, right? Like, By the way, no, yeah, Olivier is very much like base, base, base. Yeah, yeah, like everything's base. Like, okay, so you've got hits here, but like everything's base. So if you if you play this turn wrong, all of a sudden you're just going to be one nil down. Yeah. Or if your dice aren't very good. So. Oh, Olivier is going to have two players left. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But of course, on tabletop, mostly people play it the turn wrongly. And, oh, he's one D powered the Roger. He kind of had to, right? Because it chains out the Garda, and uh, there was no real way because of that Garda being there. This guy couldn't have hit him on two D, so there was really no way to get two D on him. Go up, up. Oh my God, he's got a. He's got a Interesting. I mean, I guess he can just dodge away from the card or anything. Yeah, he's just going to cage up the side, it looks like. Mm. Couple of 1 in 9 blocks here. He's got a 1 in 36. Cover the rear. Mm. Um. Ooh. Yeah, that was a bit spicy, mm -hmm. wasn't it? So he's going to do this block first then. The problem is with this is if he gets a push on the mighty blow, like he's basing a catcher. Yeah. Or all yeah. the dancers. Yeah, I don't like this at all. Yeah. I would have definitely done this block first and see what see where Aura was at. You might want to think about some Oh full power, easy. Oh he's done the wrong one. No no, this is the right one because then by doing this one first, he, you know, if he did this one first, he might not get two dice at all and stuff, or he'd leave him in contact and it was all going to be a mess. Whereas now... Yeah, and that stun sort of rescues him. Yeah, it was a very helpful stun. I guess we're dodging his catcher. Oh, I've... Yeah. That catcher dodges. Three, two. I would have gone forward, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Coming up and around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, just around here. Yeah. yeah, so you can't get an extra hit on you. And you've got something a bit far past somewhere else to worry about. It's not really strengthening anything here, is it? Oh! oh my God. That's three out of four. What no, great... three out of five, is it? Uh, three out of four, I think. Did he not blitz one turn? No, because it... Oh, he just stood him. He didn't actually blitz with him, I yeah. So that was a four plus. I mean, that was actually good then, wasn't it? Because it, he only stunned him. And yeah, he, and he got up his. I know it's so dumb. Oh, him just knocked him over. He's and, bits uh, in his catcher, and he's surely. Yeah. Doesn't. Oh, he does get him. Yeah. Bosh. Bish bosh bash. Oh my god, these elves. <laughs> Man, it's like I. I it, it is going to be annoying Olivier for sure that he's like powers a mighty blow on low AV players and not getting anything for it. Like a hundred percent, like it. You don't really. I, I mean, I know as someone who punches elves with mighty blow <laughs> when they own not die. It's yeah. really annoying. I think he's just going to nip around this turn, isn't he? Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. Maybe the like a GFI with the ball. Round the outside. Yeah. I thought he might come back round to the left, but I guess the rats are just as fast, so maybe. Yeah. Mm. This turn six is the problem. Like I want to be getting forward. Like he's got yeah, to get forward eventually. Like, like, they're movement eight, man. Like it's cheating. Well, the, his movement seven is the ball carrier, so now he's not in range. So now he has to roll oh. a two plus at least to score. So I think he yeah. definitely needs to get forward this turn. I will stand by I mean, that. He's got oh spicy. Mm. Uh, it's fine. That does I mean, he has that's he, his hand off. Yeah. He just doesn't he, score now, right? Well, yeah, but yeah, he's got a, yeah, he's got a catcher in scoring range yeah. right now. I know he does, but like. I, I would just I want the ball to be in scoring range, not roll dice to score. Like I mean, yeah. Plus, like you know, you're playing a good player who's like you know going to try and make it even harder for you than just rolling a two plus. So when when he when he had this space, and that's why I would have had this catcher up there in that last turn, because yeah. there would been another player to make this push better, and it could have just come back to facilitate the swing around anyway. More better, yeah. Oh. Well, all X cage. Yeah, this is definitely like going up there, and then this guy can come out to like here or something, can't he? Yeah. 
there maybe. Ooh, I think maybe his one back was better. But I would say he needs to move up, yeah. He's definitely gonna have to transfer the ball now. Which, you know, could be a double one. Could use a reroll. I mean, obviously best case nothing happens, but you obviously have to re-roll it. And one yeah. in thirty six times it's really gonna burn you. Full pow. Instant full pow. Bosh. Kaz. Injured. I don't think you're up by this because it's a serious injury. Yeah, it's an annoying one. It is. But I mean, it's like the most likely result, isn't it? Because uh, it's only 1 to 6 on a D16 or whatever it is. Um, I don't know if it's the most likely. It's 37 and well, a half. I mean, I mean, something that's not badly hurt is more likely than... Like, sorry, yes. yeah, I'll yeah, be yeah, clear. Yeah, like, yeah. basically... Like a badly hurt is something that you want to appo because you're guaranteed for it to work. Everything else, it's a 50, well, it's a 1 in 3, isn't it's it? It's a 37.5% to work. That's the one, Jim. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> That's why you're so goddamn good. <laughs> and then, uh, well, this is alright, I guess. Yeah, this is, this is why I wanted to go forward when I could. You know, like, now yeah, all of a sudden this is right. looking so uh, it's looking pretty tidy, Jim. This isn't looking so easy for Monaco. I wonder if he stands the line out now. He does. I guess a full pow. Bosh. Just a stun. Frustration. Mm. But. Still a Very stun. good for the drive. Yeah, yeah. We'll mm. take it. Rauga's probably out the drive now, but. Yeah, and fortunately the frenzy's cost him. And if he didn't frenzy and stayed there, it'd have been really nice. Mm. Oh, we I think this guy just running. Us. Yeah, we're just running through the hole in the middle, aren't we? Like, I guess we're blitzing the guy on the front of the cage. Dodge the stripper out, blitz the guy on the front of the cage, and then run everyone through the gap between the rat ogre and the guarder. Yeah, and then, about here. And then we dodge out up on the right hand side to get a couple of scoring threats. Yeah, beautiful, Jim. That's it. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. The beautiful, beautiful. cars. <laughs> but he's going to be a one in thirty six just to uh, be in some trouble. Oh no, he's got the dance for, he's got the tackle dance for the back, so he doesn't even need to do that. He can just blitz with the tackle dance. Yeah. It's just the direction's a bit iffy. No, it's not, it's fine, yeah, he just blitz with the tackle dance, yeah. Yeah. Having a look at it, Jim. Yeah. His uh, team name is uh, quite like dwarves. <laughs> See, Dwarves would have definitely taken that space and when they had the chance. <laughs> oh my god, uh, if this was Dwarves, it'd be three lines off his own, uh, three squares off his own end zone by now. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's not going up that it's, way. He's it's, it's going up the outside. Does get the tackle hit on the wrestle though, which is beneficial. Yeah, that's very nice. And it lets him get this dancer further forward. Because otherwise the dancer would have like gone back and around, whereas now he can just go directly forward, can't he? Um, is he gonna just punch that right with the mighty play? It looks like he might just put the other assist in and punch it with the catcher and stay there. Yeah, the fact he's put one assist in. Yeah, this this line all can come up, and he can punch him, and the ball can get there. He can get there. He can he can dodge out to get make the cage, and then he's got this two plus out. 3-2 out. And then Bob's your father's brother? Yes. That's what they say in uh, Essex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beef stew. Mm. That's the dodge first. Yeah, interesting. I mean, I I feel like he definitely shouldn't have done that. <laughs> like this guy can go up, the ball can go up, and this guy can go up. So I mean, like failing that dodge, you just, just getting this guy hit by a roger instantly. Uh. <laughs> Roger, yeah, as some people call it. I quite like Roger. Roger the roger. Yeah. Wouldn't you like to Roger a rogue? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Spending a lot of time on this turn, isn't he? Yeah, he's I'm not sure what he's thinking. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's thinking. He's probably thinking oh, I should have gone up the other side now. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I'd gone up up the pitch a few turns ago. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, the, the problem with the sides is it's easier to screen. Mm -hmm. But it probably is probably going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Probably. Maybe he's disconnected to... or something. Yeah. Is the replay bugged? Because this doesn't look natural. Um, but I don't think his turn his turn would be gone down. His turn time would be gone down if he was disconnected, right? I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe it's bugged. Olivia Dilak like, streams yeah. sometimes, doesn't he? Could uh, could uh, could check. I haven't seen him on for a while. Before. But he has streamed, hasn't he? Because I've seen his YouTube. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was one stream where uh, his uh, face just like froze for like the whole stream. It was quite oh funny. shit! He's doing the handoff to the dancer this turn. <sighs> or the pass, pass to the dancer this turn. What a mad lad! That was a lot of thinking. I'm not sure I like opening it with a double GFI. Oh my god, he's double GFIing, handing off. Oh my god, five two pluses. That was wild, wasn't it? You can just uphill it with shit ball like instantly, it's just madness. Yeah, that's not what I would do. I guess he's gonna dodge the catcher out and base the stripper, I'm imagining, but it's It's a choice. Yeah, it's not what I would have done. It's still a GFI, isn't it? Actually quite yeah. like keeping it on the throw because you know, he'd be in a cage and he'd uh, he'd be able to uh, get like hand it up to one of the multiple people yeah. that he can. Yeah. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Double GFI to get him in. Oh, unless and he's not doing it. He's okay. He's doing it with this guy. Wow, and he's not even doing it with him either. Okay, so now it's a three-two for three, an uphill. Three-two, yeah. I guess we. Hmm. I think he's still going to score from here. To be honest, I think he's still going to score from here. And it's, or it's just a four plus in. Well, and from the side. And it could go yeah, in the that's actually much better. Yeah, because whoa, is it much better than the three-two? Well, it's a harder dodge, but then it's got higher upside, hasn't it? So it's yeah, the ball going in the crowd, and the thing is, if he does it around the front, he has to be on the sideline to do it for it not to be triple uphill yeah. unless he base it. Well, you could base that it's catcher anyway. Basic, that'd be another three plus, wouldn't it? He'd have to like, and yeah, so he just comes straight in for the four yeah. plus, fails. What did he roll? Did he roll a one in nine or did he roll a three two? It was a one two. Ah, I see. It would have failed either way. Would have failed either way. Never in doubt, was it, Jim? Oh, he's done a Never. bubble box. The yes. guy's a genius. I yes. love to see it. A clever bu bu bubble box. It'd be quite funny if he just runs the ball into the other side of the inside. <laughs> <laughs> And it's funny, of course, because you would never take these blocks, right? In the old, in the old rules, would you? You would never make these blocks. But now, of course, with having re two rerolls, yeah. you can use a reroll and a hit and a reroll on the GFI. So, not going to block true. that block. I don't think. I don't think it's worth that. The one in eighty-one is too likely. A block plus block. Makes the hand off. There you go. He gets his drive done. It was a little bit, a uh, little bit dodgy towards the end, but it was a little bit. Yeah, all his GFIs and stuff was. Uh, was it, was a little, it wasn't the cleanest, but mm. he, I mean, he's got ten players so far. He's got his Apo still in play. Yep. And uh, he's capped at ten, isn't he? Yeah, he is too. which isn't. I mean, it depends what happens here. Because the thing is, with the rats being there one turn, I mean, uh, oh, the, that is actually quite a big thing as well. It being ten means that he can dodge out down the outside on a three-three-two, right? Yeah. So, yeah, huge. So that that is actually pretty big. Yeah, 
and he's mm. not setting up to like deny the pushes or anything. Maybe he can't with that. One. I don't think I, it's not ideal with ten, but no. I mean Olivier hasn't got the sidestep at this time, so maybe the push denial is better than it would have been had he. Um. Except catches have catch. Uh, yes, but Cobblestorm, he could have. He could if he fails the catch, and it bounced to the other guy who we had in the bobble box. <laughs> he could re-roll the catch on him, right? That is yes. literally why he oh, made the bubble oh. box. Wait, where? Why is the gut runner here? Uh, the gut runner, the, the right ogre here. Because he's gonna, he's gonna blitz. And then do the chat. He's gonna get the pushes. Like he's gonna blitz from directly behind and get the pushes straight away. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm right. I'm, yeah. But, I mean, he was just. Do but he's 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 not done it right yet. Yeah. The so rest wasn't in the right place yet. That's what. We're yeah. Yeah. About. Now he's done it. So. So. Yeah. So. But he needs to swap the stripper and the mighty blow to get the rat pushed on the first push. Um. Yes. Yes. Correct. Correct. This is achieving nothing right now. Well, yeah, yeah. It just means he's only going to push him one square. Yeah, which is worse than just doing it a different and the, way. And the, the problem with this is if he rolls a one with the Raga, um, and removes that guy, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. no longer a chain push yeah. either. Which, which is quite hilarious. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that so, would be that would be hilarious. But do you know what? Do you know what? I think I would actually do the first push with the Blitzer. And then I would do the second frenzy hit with the rat ogre. So, because you can still guarantee the rogue hit by having the lineman behind him, mm -hmm. but you're you're guaranteeing you're getting the first hit because you're not casting your own player that's making the chain. <laughs> do you see what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I see what I mean. Right, well, it's, oh, it's it was a two. It was so close as well. I love that. Gets the push. I I guess if it's three dice of a juggernaut. Oh, you get to use juggernaut on the blitz, so don't you? Yeah. So yeah. That, there ah, is that. He so. takes the power and pushes this gutter. So Hang on. That's... Yeah. He's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He can get. He can get. And then he can punch him. And this guy should have been here, right? This guy should have been the other side. So you can push him the other way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Amazing. Got to re-roll it. It's a push, yeah, it's fine. Which, funnily enough, if he'd had this guy the other side, he wouldn't have had to have re-rolled that. <laughs> yeah, 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 he could have... Well, he might, he have, been, he might have been... Yeah, he would have had to fill the square on the side of him. Yeah. Is he dodging the stripper here, or is he running... I don't think he can get right. One, two, three, four, yeah, he's five. Yeah, he's going to block him first, okay. and, then, and then bring... So, him. yeah, he dodged the stripper, because... Um, it's a GFI, so the stripper's got no, an inbuilt no, no, re-roll. No. Yeah, 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 because it's a rush with the line rat. It's a rush with the line rat. So he has to do it that he way. Just so punched. Oh my god, he's just fucking. Money. He could have just literally punched. What's he doing? It wouldn't have been oh in a chain. He's, he's getting the extra. He's getting the extra square. Oh, to take away a GFI off the gutter. Yeah, I, and to get him out of the tackle zone. No, it's not the getting an extra push because well. he's moved the fucking gutter. That would have hit. That was just shit. That was just garbage. That was terrible. Well, you couldn't fill the square in between you the two lines. Just punch him. Just punch him first. Oh, and then fill that one and behind then, him. And yeah. then just walk around and fill it. Yeah. <laughs> that was fucking weird. Bubble box. Here we go. So this this weird. is going to be like a four plus, isn't it? Yeah, something. And it's a two plus pass. Like he, he's got two plus passing, so. Hang on, so he's rolled a six. He's he intercepted he's rolled... it while he deflected it. He, he rolled a six for the, the, the interference. Do you, so get, uh, you get SPP for that in uh, progression? Only you? if you intercept, I think. I think it's. No, I think you get like one if you in interfere, don't you? And then you get another one if you actually catch it or something. Or maybe so. maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't think so. He got a Kaz, though, so that was the best thing he got out of that. You <laughs> didn't get the one turn, but he got a Kaz. Will he you go do get for the one win? for interfere, and then you get one for a co interception as well, do you? Thank, thank you, Kalon. I don't know. I've never done either. I'm, I'm glad someone knows what they're talking about on this channel. Yeah. Wow. Banter. <laughs> yeah. Well done, Timmy. Timmy, yeah? the cleverest man in the world. I'm a league player now, Jim. Oh yeah.
I'm like the worst kind of blob bowler, a tabletop league player. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so I guess you've, got, <laughs> you've actually got to look things up in the rule book a little bit. Oh Jesus. my god, I've learned so much in like <laughs> such a short. Like honestly, I didn't realise how much I didn't know until all of a sudden it's like, it's like every game. It's just like, oh, well, I don't actually know how this is supposed to work, and then you're like, and then you have to find out, and then you're like, oh my god. I never knew that. <laughs> but yeah, I played. I played against goblins in a warm-up game, and I learned so much stuff. It was just unbelievable. Mm. I was just like, "Oh my god!" So I know how pro teammate works now. I actually know how it works. Like I don't need to check. And oh my I, god, uh, a blitz! I know how bombs work. Nice. He set up all right for it, though. He set up yeah. all right for it. Yeah. And there's only nine woodies. Um, I mean it's. Still going to be pretty great for uh, Monitor. I guess you just run down, you smash that gutter with a tackle. And you run a catcher and a dodger down. And get, how many players? Six players as well. Oh, he's smashing mm. the guards. Yeah. Oh, I would have smashed the gutter. Gutter. You would have got the gutter. The problem is, if you go for the gutter, you get surfed, right? Well, no, because you just carry on moving, didn't you? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess, but I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would It just, depends, yeah, it depends how far it was. I would just fail and get served. <laughs> I mean, he could still serve the catcher, but it's a bit of a stretch. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an Andy Davo surf. It's, it's not, not that like crazy, a... is it? It's not that crazy. I think I'd probably go for it. Really? The Davo surf would be run the run this gutter around, run this gutter I mean, around, mate, mate, block he him, chain the, the, the dancer, and you the block dancer. the dancer. Yeah, I was oh getting to God. it, Jimmy. I was getting to it. You run these guys around, block him, chain the dancer to there, then block the dancer out, and then surf the dancer. That would be the Davo move. <laughs> I mean, it might be worth it, Jim, honestly. Like, yeah. that one might actually be worth it. I mean, it would just be, like, game over if it failed at any point. Like, that's the problem. Probably wouldn't be that bad, honestly. Mate, it depends. Like, the ball's on the floor right at the back there. Like, he's got no one back there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's just gone for the, he's just gone for the catcher. Plus, the catcher's three dice, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, my God. Blitz absolutely ruined him. Yeah. So now he's down to eight, which is like, are we getting into, like, let's just try and win this game territory? Versus elves. Oh, he's absolutely fine. Oh. It's versus elves, so no, the win is off the table, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, if he loses like another seven players, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it might be. It might come back on the cards. Yeah. yeah. Man, imagine if he'd done it with the dancer, but it would have been, it would have been a bigger. Oh game, my. Though. Goodness, is are we gonna just uphill surf the rat ogre? That'd like be this, this hilarious. was still a big commitment, wasn't it, to get this? Yeah, he could uphill uphill surf the ogre. Like this was still a big commitment. Yeah, the problem is he moved. Like he didn't move anyone before he did the surf either. So like, because he could have just geified the right I guess the problem is, is if you fail the pick up, then you don't get the surf at all. So yeah. But then I would have probably liked to have geified the ogre at the end of it. But yeah, he I couldn't mean, risk that, could he? Nah. But I mean, his roger could like if he powers that guard, like he could well be getting served, <laughs> which would be hilarious. Yeah. It would make my day if he served the roger. No power. Dodge is pretty good on these dinos, honestly. Like yeah. I've seen people take wrestle and all that, but like honestly, like just the annoyance of the the dodge is. Uh... Yeah, it's an extreme amount of dodge as well, isn't it? Nine yeah, dodge dodge like is... it makes it almost feels better because there's so much of it. Yeah. And it gives you the opportunity to kind of base a bit and have some defense. I guess wrestle does the same thing, right? But but like with wrestle, like you're not standing at the end of it, right? Yep. And then dodge, you kind of doubles as you're not burning rerolls on dodging. So yes. Because you're more likely to dodge than punch most of the time, aren't you? I guess. Well, I think you're more likely to punch a lot of the time. Do you think? Yeah. Do you think? Plus, like wrestle gives you like ball sacking opportunities, doesn't it? Oh, he's done! Oh, he's done oh, the dodging! No! Is he gonna re-roll? He is gonna re-roll! He gets him! He's gone. Ah. I mean, now his dance is getting surfed though. Like, that's the thing. Isn't it? And he's gonna that leap, was... isn't he? He's gonna leap. He's gonna leap away. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant! This oh, is absolute injured. cinema. And there's no apo. Wait, it doesn't matter. He's gone for the drive, and he. Yeah. Absolute. <laughs> oh, please, cast the dancer on the leap out. That would be amazing. 
<laughs> like, surely he's going to just, oh, like, you know, 4-2 dodge or whatever. I don't know if he's blocked dodge or not on the way in. Uh, I think he did. I think I heard the yeah. dodge pop up. So, yeah, he goes for the leap, fails. Rolls a one on the leap, so he falls on the... Oh, no, he rushed. Okay. That he, jumped he rushed. He failed the rush. Oh, so. what? And he stays in the square? He must have rolled a one on the... What? That doesn't make sense to me. Because if it was a rush, then he should be in the square above the guard. Yeah, but he, so he, mu he must have done the leap. Yeah, it must say rush because he had to so do two rushes yeah. to do the leap. But because he rolled a one on the leap, that's why he falls over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's honest. Mm. That was spicy as hell. I was quite glad we saw that. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty mad, but yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. One D. Did he think it was two? Oh, failed leap is from the square you jump in. That's good to know. I should know that, being a slam coach. Failed rush is also in the square you leap from. Mm. In addition to the one on the leap, meaning you are in the square. Oh, I knew that bit. Yeah, yeah I knew that bit. All of a sudden, the rats are uncomfortable. He's just going to lob it. He's just going to lob it. God. And he's gonna hand off and score? Is he just gonna score? Is he gonna score? Looks like he's just gonna score. I think he might score, Jim. Should we say score one more time? Gonna score? <laughs> he's gonna score! Oh, he's not gonna he's score! He's not gonna score! Oh, he's in! Oh, he's in. He has scored. Right, it's 1 1. Right, not what he's I would have done. He's going for the win. Yeah, he's, he's got, got 11. Players, he's got 11. Yeah. 11 versus yeah. 9. And he's not going to have his own player removing his own players. Exactly, his team's a lot stronger now because he's down yeah, this absolute yeah. useless player. <laughs> his, his worst player has been injured, literally worse than a clan rat, so that's good. Imagine paying a skill in an extra 100k to have a worse player. Not what I'd do. I do love the Roger though, Jim. I know, Kalon insists it's the best as well, but... Not. It's horrible to play against, honestly. Animal savagery is the worst. The worst. Yeah, but like, you don't even need to like. You don't like. People fall into the trap of always having someone next to him when they're blitzing with him. Like, you don't have to. You can blitz without someone next to you. Yes, but then that 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 again is just another positional restriction, right? Which is still bad. Well, animal savagery, you know. Kalon says is the best. I'm not sure Varg is the best. I mean, it, there are scenarios where it's pretty good. One turners. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, the rogue does help you for the one turner. If you're doing a one turner, the rogue is the, the big guy you want. If you're playing Blood Bowl, then Croxicor is the best big guy. Who did you say? The Varg. Croxicor. Uh, Kalon likes the Cro Kalon likes the Varg, but the Crox is the best, isn't it? Uh, the Crox is the Crox is pretty good. He's not a skink, and he's armor. He's not a skink, and he has tail, which is one of the most fun things in Blood Bowl as well. Mm. I love the old tail diving tackle sandwich. Yeah. Mix a removal there, so now it's suddenly nine versus ten. Oh, here we are, full. Oh, hang on, two of his players have got loner of two plus as well because yeah. of that prayer to nuffle. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. I hate prayer so much. Yeah, so. Do I. Yeah, so dumb. Yeah, yeah, it's a two plus loner, so it's barely relevant, right? Yeah, yeah. But having a two is kind of annoying. Here we go, full contact. We would say full chunter being uh, being blood ball two and three is, but yeah, maybe we should be saying uh, you know full Olivier if we were table toppers. And this is actually like th there is some psychological damage here as well because having like done a perfect eight turns like grind as a uh, monitor and then just getting scored on like ridiculously in three turns and then getting herped out to insanity it's like <laughs> it, there's there's some emotional damage from that I'm telling you like, emotional damage there is oh, injury head injury oh. uh, gutter is right for the blood ball three discord now. Now, now he's feeling pretty good. I, yeah. can, I can feel it. Yeah, he's feeling pretty good now. Shame we the stripper. Balls on a dancer. Got it down. He's very narrow. 
He is he very narrow, yeah, but he's got lots of turns. To get right. out. He's got lots of turns to get out, hasn't he? Oh, loan the dodge. Ooh, not what I would have done. Full pow. Is he gonna one D the leader? Oh my god. It's Another a KO. <laughs> Why do I never roll like this against Chunter, honestly? <laughs> well, because I don't know, Jim. Why don't you? Try it Your ball. dice on BB3 have been far too good, honestly. Yeah, they have been pretty good, yeah. It's unbearable to watch you now, Jimmy. <laughs> you keep winning, it just makes you sick. <laughs> oh, spicy. Ooh. Is that interesting? Yeah, I didn't like that dodge from that from that one, because if you're going to do this dodge eventually, which he did, you could do that and then punch this guy, couldn't he? And, you know, if you punch that guy, Here comes the shipper. I think Olivia knows he's cooked. Yeah. He's just suicide. Oh no, he's not. No, he's not. Ooh. Okay, maybe he doesn't know he's cooked. His gooses. What are we at now? Are we at like seven versus eight, is it? No, it's nine. Ooh. Oh wow. Eight, eight aside, <laughs> is it? Three, six, eight. Three, six, eight. Yeah, eight aside. Blood Bowl eight. <laughs> And it's two dancers versus three gutters. Yeah. That's a big advantage to dancers, isn't it? Like, dancers are just incredible. Well, you've still got the Apo as well, Monitor, but everyone keeps getting seriously. Well, I guess you use it on a KO now, don't you, rather than oh, a yeah. KO. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah obviously, Kazo. Irrelevant. Ooh. Ooh, he's just opened Ooh, up that side line. Can't oh. be doing that on purpose, can he? Uh, I think he is, Jim. I think he deliberately went, on you go, mate. Oh, he's gone, nah, actually. <laughs> nah, actually. Nah. <laughs> Change my <me> mind. <laughs> Take it back. No. Take him back my whole turn. I didn't roll the dice. <laughs> yes, yes, if this was tabletop, Olivia would be able to take <laughs> back his whole turn. Yeah, that's yeah. true. His entire turn would be being in the in the st in the process of being taken back right now. It's a it's a two plus uh, loner amenable ethics, so it's not like your normal four plus loner or does anyone have three plus loner? Yeah, I think train trolls. Yeah, so it's not like your normal four plus loner. It's just a two plus loner reroll, but it is a loner reroll, and it's just based on a kickoff event where you have a one in eight prayer to nuffle. So it's like a d6 roll each, whoever wins the d6 roll then wins the prayer and then on that d8 if they get this it's d3 players gain, random players gain loner. So it's uh, it's just annoying. Like, and when you when you set up for tabletop you've got all your skill bands on and then that yeah. kickoff event happens <laughs> and you know, oh I need, has anyone got free loom bands you can lend me? <laughs> I need to mark all these guys who've got loner that are never going to use it in the whole drive and then you spend 10 minutes running around a hall full of people asking them for loom bands loom and they're all bands. pissed off yeah they're all pissed off with you because you're you're interrupting their games and it's all a bit of a drama really loom bands yeah move yeah move have you got any C Ann? oh yes <laughs> OWA boys, I mean, no, nobody knows that KLO because no one's ever taken out the PWA. <laughs> oh, here we go. Smashing. Oh, oh he's rolled a one! Yes, a pow ish. Oh my god, another Kaz, and now it's a badly hurt, but it's too late. <laughs> it's too, well, he might be scoring in there. No, he doesn't have oh, a so this, game. This, this was Olivier Deluxe trap space, right? This had to have been his plan. He left the door open for this move. And now he's coming I mean, in, he's got uh, a removal, and... Uh, yeah, all of a sudden nice. this looks pretty good, yeah. I mean, there's the, there's the easy way out, though, isn't there? This punch. This punch unlocks everything. One punch to unlock everything. Yeah. Yeah. Still, the removal uh, is pretty big. It's the it's power the as well, which is really big. Huge. It's pretty big, Jim. Huge power. <laughs> Another AV <laughs> this, this match is mental. Follow, so he's not hitting that leader. Interesting. I think he's going to dodge him out because he wants the extra player. Mm. 
Oh my god, he does a 1D with a ball exposed. Outrageous. Outrageous. Surely it's better to do the double the ball there first. Well, maybe not. Because if you double one the bl the blitz, I mean, you use a reroll, which is obviously bad, but at least you've still got the ball on a blodger, haven't you? Whereas if you double one... But then it's better to have... I think it's probably better to have both players there than not if you fail the double one. Oh, he didn't take the punch on the leader. He just left him in contact. Yeah. Interesting. interesting, Jim. Super interesting. Oh. Is it possible to pitch it right? Five, six, seven. Is it seven aside? It is, uh, yeah. Yeah, seven aside. Oh, it's one in nine, though. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, yeah. There's no block. There's the thing, there's no block on the uh, Woody's hardly, is there? So. Well, I mean, it's like almost 30% of his team, Jim. What are you on about? <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> now now that not having block is all right, because he's <laughs> two out of seven have block. <laughs> It's the 1D pal and the armor break. Oh my done. goodness. So now he'll now he should be able to get away, shouldn't he? Should be able to, question mark. Yeah, he's got twos out. Oh I guess you wait you, right, are we blitzing the skill of Scar and yeah. running around to the right? Yeah. 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 Ooh, he's not. not doing it with oh so he's doing it on three dice rather than with a tackle. Oh, that's quite nice. Is it? I mean, I don't know. Um, I don't know, Jim. I mean, it means, he's got, it means he's got the tackler there, which is if he's where he wanted him then. He's, he's aiming to score on turn 17. Yes, right. yeah, this is looking great if his aim is to score on turn 17. Yeah. Six versus seven now. <laughs> less and less. Well, this has been an absolute belter of a game, though. <laughs> like, honestly, I, I've, I think that this has been one of the more enjoyable. Ones, yeah. So he's not going forward, but he does oh. have two turns left. And this is very hard to defend, isn't it? With six, six rats. He's just going to help there, please. Probably. Slap the guard in the front. One on each corner. Keep the stripper back. <clears throat> Bob's your father's brother. Is he going to 3D the catcher? Or is he going to 2D the dancer? Mm, 3D the catcher, probably. Looks like it. I mean, if win. Olivier wants to win, then he has to go for the ball this time, right? But he's not doing that, so... Mm. Well, I guess you can put one more bite of the cherry, I guess. But yeah, yeah, you can have like two goods in range here, can't you? Well, he's got none at the moment. Yeah, but he hasn't activated them. <laughs> is what I'm saying, like he could have two goods in range, couldn't he? Oh shit, it's 1-1, one, one. of course it is. Yeah. Oh, he didn't score the one turn, he just scored early. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I'm in Warren. <laughs> this disregard. Emirates I've got Emirates. no idea what's happened. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> the one turner was interfered with, wasn't it? With the, uh... Yeah, yeah, he, he caught the pass or knocked it down. Oh, re rolls oh. that going for a pass. That was, uh... Well, look, because he's against the clock, isn't he? This is the thing now, like, you know, with him just making the tight cage and not getting any penetration. He's got one re roll. He needs to get into range. He pop dodge. Mm, get somebody into range. I don't know why I didn't try to get anybody into range before, just using all. Oh, it's not showing the dice log anymore for some reason. Oh, no. There we go. Yeah, he didn't pop dodge. Right, here we go. So you can cut the corner and get that. He needs yeah, double G of fight. No. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He can if he double. If four G of fires will get him there. Oh no, he cut the corner. So he's going to have to rely on like this catcher to be a scoring threat. No, nope. he's oh. just taking the draw. Oh no, yeah, no, he's, he's just taking draw, isn't he? I guess this one dancer leaps out and this then one runs. Dancer. 
And then, but then the rats only just have to sack the dancer. Right? It's just mm. But then at least they can't like if they go for him, they're not they're not hitting the ball. And <clears> if he fails a leap, then you just five plus in, and then you got the uh, strip, and then maybe it doesn't. Like the rats, the rats, one, the two, rats three, four, and five, unless this dancer eight, becomes a scoring threat, unless this dancer becomes a scoring threat, mm. like the rats are more likely to win this now than the well they. The rats have a chance. The woodies don't, right? So well, he's only got one uh, turn left. I mean, it was. It's not. It's not yeah, much just, chance. Wait, he's got a gutter in range. He's got a thrower right there. He's got a stripper right there. Yeah, he's like. Yeah. I mean, he's he's got a. He's has got, he got a, a He's got a, he's got a re-roll. Got a Here we go. He's in. Gets the dodge in. Rolls a skull. Oh, has to re-roll it. Gets the mm, ball no, down with the skull. Got... <laughs> right. he, yeah. And we got a draw. Yeah. A Unbelievable. Draw. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is there a chain? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking that was a catch. It. Like, there's a guy there. Can he like blitz him? But no, there was no, there was no way to chain him forward, uh, whatsoever. So I think Olivia would be happy with that draw. I think. I think he will. Out. Yeah. Yeah. I think he definitely will. That was. Uh, he was staring defeat in the face, but managed to uh, managed to survive and get a draw. Oh. Want to snatch the draw from the clutches of victory? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just lack of urgency in getting forward both drives, and uh, obviously it cost him in the uh, in the second one. But I mean, obviously it wasn't easy, right? You had like you had like six players or whatever, <laughs> like six aside. It was pretty mad, isn't it? But uh, and yeah, I guess he was still worried about that stripper. Um, but yeah, very like this thing is always it does tend to be does tend to be entertaining, doesn't it? Like the edge teams and that. So there you go. A very thrilling 1-1 one, one draw. Um, a completely reasonable amount of time to play a game of Lobbo in as well. Yes, very quick. Yeah, so there you go. Congrats congrats, and thank you to both both participants. <laughs> and really like and monitor. Thank you very much, Dimmy, for joining me in the booth. Absolutely glorious to have you here. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, pleasure's mine. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.